I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the WhatsApp group, Free Math Solutions. During these tough days, when students are trying to learn from home, we are providing excellent services, all free of cost, from both the media, the YouTube channel and the WhatsApp group. You can always be a member there, post questions, and you'll immediately get excellent answers. Here is a topic of great interest, which is neighborhood of a point. We'll also refer to this as Delta neighborhood, and we'll also talk about neighborhood when in context with region. There are five things which I'm going to clearly specify in this particular video, and these are, what is neighborhood or Delta neighborhood of A? So we'll kind of define it, and then, what is deleted neighborhood of A, which is a special case? Third, how is interior and open disk related with neighborhood? Now, there are many terms which are used along with neighborhood concept. So we have taken those two terms also, which is interior and open disk. Then, is delta positive? Well, it should be positive because we're talking about distances, right? And then, what is application or significance of this concept? So that is where we are going to end the video. Let's begin with the term neighborhood first. So the term neighborhood or delta neighborhood are kind of same, right? So let's be very clear about it. We are saying these two terms and we are saying they are same terms. Now, neighborhood is always in a context, and the context here is a point. So, of A, so where A represents a point for us. So, A is a point. So, as the name suggests, we can say that neighborhood or delta neighborhood of a point is what? It is a set of points very close to A, right? So we can say neighborhood of A means set of points very close to A, right? So that makes sense, correct? So very close to A. Now, uh, very close to A, it could be in many different contexts. So if we are talking about a number line, let's say, and on a number line, if I take a point which is A, then very close will mean what? In that case, we'll say, let it be just some distance away, which is plus or minus delta. So that is how we get the term delta. So delta defines how close. Now, most of the time we are saying small interval. And this interval is A plus minus delta. Correct? So that is how we're trying to visualize the concept of neighborhood. In other words, you could say it is something from A minus delta to A plus delta. So everything in between is the neighborhood. In mathematical language, we say that X belongs to a real numbers such that, let's write like this, set of real numbers such that the value x minus a is always less than delta. So that becomes slightly more technical. Perfect. But in short, that specifically defines the term neighborhood. So everything in between, but not including, you get the idea everything in between but not including. So, 
so it is not including so in between x minus delta and x plus delta so that is not including right so not including extremes so that is what the delta neighborhood or neighborhood is perfect when we talk about space in that case the neighborhood will be a region around the point so in that case everything around this point which is delta away will be in the neighborhood so so clearly we could actually kind of uh, go around this point right let's say this is everything around this point however the periphery is not included so within the point so when we're talking about a space we see it in this kind of a structure and that is what is open disk so this is the open disk for us and the interior is inside so the two terms interior and open disk are very much related with the neighborhood as you can clearly see here correct now let's move on to the next screen so that we could talk about another term which is what is deleted neighborhood of a so in both the context when we are talking about a number line we have taken a point a and we know that we are looking into an interval which is from a minus delta to a plus delta so everything in between is within our neighborhood so what i'm showing here is the neighborhood but when we say deleted neighborhood it means that the point a is excluded so everything but not a do you see so when we have an interval and now this time the interval is from a minus delta to a and from a to a plus delta so that becomes the interval so a is excluded in that case it is called deleted neighborhood is that clear so in this case it is called deleted neighborhood of a so a is excluded so that is what we are saying deleted neighborhood so if you go to the concept of the circle in a open space then the periphery is not included and now the point in the center is not included but everything else is included so that is what we mean when we say deleted neighborhood is that clear to you right now here you can see once again it is a disk and it is interior of the disk and that is how always when we talk about neighborhood we come to know about these two terms and which is a disk which could be spelled with k or with c right and this is the interior of the disk
let me write here interior is that clear to you right now the next question which remains is is delta positive or not i think by now the question is absolutely clear is delta positive or not since we are talking about distances it has to be positive right so so let's take another screen here to answer this particular question which is is delta positive now in both our examples whether it is along a line or it is a space what we observe is that We're talking about distances. Distance away from A is within delta units. So that means a distance. The key word here is distance. And as you know, distance is always positive, right? So, so that gives you distance is positive. So we'll take delta normally is positive. Is that clear to you? So that is how we'll actually see delta. So you have understood the terms which are neighborhood or delta neighborhood of a point. So it could be along a straight line as shown here or it could be a region inside a circle where the radius of delta where the periphery is not included perfect so that is how we are going to look into these terms now the important question is what is the application or significance of this particular concept? So now let's look into some applications. Well, calculus is full of applications. So the to very first is limits. Well, we could also say rate of change. At times, we are also looking for behavior of curves. Now, and like there are many other things, correct? So likewise, we have many examples where the concept of neighborhood is very important. So what we are trying to say here is when we talk about limits then we are actually referring to deleted neighborhood for example if i say what is the limit when x approaches zero for sine x over x or what is the limit when x approaches zero for x minus 1 over x square minus 1. Now we know that at x equals 2, this should be 1. Okay. So in both these cases, we are interested in the value approached when x is very very close or you can say neighborhood correct so that is how you could see a very important application of neighborhood similarly we also have a case we are talking about tangents, right? So let's say this is a curve for us and we are interested in finding slope at a particular point. Now, on a curve, 
getting a slope at a point is very difficult since what is slope slope is rise over run so we need two points for a slope let's say points p and q now slope of a tangent is defined when the point q is in the neighborhood of p so as it comes very close to p what we get here is is the slope at p right so at this stage we get a tangent and that is how we can use the concept of neighborhood perfect so there are many cases where the concept of neighborhood is utilized i hope with this you have understood basically what is neighborhood and few related terms we have actually defined neighborhood in terms of real numbers and we have seen how we see it linearly or in a region correct so in both the cases we have seen that this is basically an interval so you can treat this as an interval where the extreme value is not included and if the point itself is not included then we'll call this as a deleted neighborhood is that clear to you so that is how we can understand this concept i hope it is slightly clear thanks for your time and all the best